If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, so before we actually jump into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to COD Declassified. It's a YouTube channel that I'm working with. So if you guys want to see some more COD content, check them out. I'll have a link down below. We're going to have a lot of super in-depth stuff for COD 2020 and with Modern Warfare. So definitely give them a follow over there. Link in the description below. Let's jump into the video. Yo guys, what's up? It's x Welcome back to another Call of Duty 2020 video. So today I actually was planning on making a video for COD Modern Warfare, but I just had a horrible day. I'm just... I I don't even want to talk about it jeez dude just horrible horrible man I'm, I'm done with season four for today but today actually there was another video that i wanted to talk about and it was actually a report that came out yesterday from uh, i believe it was jason schreier for kotaku uh, it wasn't an article or anything he merely replied to someone who was talking about being surprised that certain games were not shown during the playstation 5 the future of gaming event and within this tweet the guy that was replying was like hey i'm surprised that cod 2020 wasn't shown or teased or anything and Jason Schreier actually replied by saying that well don't be surprised that he's been hearing that it's actually going to be released or at least uh teased later than any other time all right guys so let's go ahead and talk about this if you enjoyed the video drop a like super appreciated if you are new obviously make sure to subscribe with notifications on and if you want to support the channel directly check out G2A for some cheap PC games Xbox live codes and more link down below along with scuff and control freak code og experts gets you a discount there let's jump into it like we are at a point now in january where we already would have had our reveal in may a campaign gameplay in june during e3 that was canceled and you know we would have been gearing up for a multiplayer one later this month or later on you know in in another month or whatever and now we have literally nothing almost midway through june and so jason schreier basically tweeted at him no cod it might not be announced for a while last i heard and this actually was said also by another person by tom phillips he also replied to someone and said no a little way off maybe further than some expect so this doesn't mean that cod 2020 is delayed but it is looking pretty bad if you don't even have a trailer ready to go for your next call of duty in june midway through june add to that the fact that Treyarch has been working on this game basically they were asked to come in and save COD 2020 because Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software were just unable to work together and so Treyarch had to come in when they normally would have had a three-year cycle to be able to work on their game now they had a year and a half to try to fix someone else's problem and then add to that the pandemic obviously a bunch of people working from home and you've got a recipe for if they don't even have a name for the game that's bad if they don't have a teaser for the game in june midway through june that's bad so i wouldn't honestly be surprised if we don't see cod 2020 till december or maybe even 2021 who knows maybe they delay it until next year and they just go hey modern warfare 2 remastered this year as opposed to cod 2020 from uh, david von der Harn from treyarch and there was actually a tweet also from the long sensation who has been leaking stuff in the past and he deleted the tweet immediately but he basically said that the gameplay that we saw leaked a few days ago or like a week ago that was like pre-alpha gameplay was actually not very old like that gameplay wasn't from three months ago or six months ago that this was a recent build of the game for COD 2020 and if it's that rough if it's untextured and the maps are in really in that position and it hasn't been three months maybe it's like a month old then you know that COD 2020 is in a pretty horrible state right now and Long Sensation has been saying pretty much that what he's been hearing is that it's like absolute nut house over there and that like they're like scared that they're not gonna be able to deliver it which is basically what they say about every single COD really honestly I think Modern Warfare was the only one that wasn't in complete complete shambles when it came out like that one actually had time infinite warfare when it came out there was rumors that youtubers went to go see an early build of infinite warfare and they completely crapped on it and they had to like redesign and get treyarch's help to release infinite warfare then black ops 4 comes out their campaign is scrapped because they're trying to do too much and that game launches with a whole bunch of bugs and issues and now here we are with COD 2020, no trailer, no teaser, rumors that the pre-alpha gameplay we saw was actually not as old as we think it is. And on top of that, that we're going to see a reveal much later than people normally expect. Add to that pandemic and you're looking at something that might just fall off the rails completely. Also, I just saw that Long Sensation or 
Tom Henderson basically said that we might be seeing the reveal in early July. Holy crap. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a video on that because I mean, don't be surprised if COD 2020 is delayed. Maybe it is going to come out this year. I don't know. But the way things are looking, it's not looking that great. Um, yeah. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like on the video. Super appreciated. Incredibly helpful. If you are new to the channel, obviously, make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my channel memberships or by checking out my sponsors. G2A, Control Freak, Scuff. I use them every single day. Kodo GX Series gets you a discount on there. Check out the links down below. And then if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. Go ahead and give me a follow over there at OGX Series, link down below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.